everybody is talking about 5G at the moment and I'm with Steve Pusey, a member of the board of directors at Accedian and the former group CTO at Vodafone to talk about how operators can radically improve customer experience in the 5G era. Steve, you obviously work with a lot of operators and previously worked for one yourself. Um, as 5G rolls out, what are, what are CTOs most excited about? Every time we have a step change in technology, CTOs come to the fore. This is what they live for. 5G, we have to consider, was very different to 3G and 4G, the last two generations. This is a technology that was born out of use cases where the co customer side of the business looked at what customers might need, how we could apply it, what industry might need, and we developed a set of specifications that would deliver on that. Super exciting to see such a dramatic step change in technology and the CTOs will be very excited to be the ones associated with that and part of the delivery. So you mentioned that 5G is a big change, um, so there are obviously challenges as well. Uh, what's keeping CTOs awake at night as 5G rolls out? Well, the diversity of 5G. I mean, we could be looking at fixed broadband wireless. We could be looking at industry 4.0 applications. We could be looking at IoT. We could be looking at gaming. We could be looking at uh, cloud applications served native to the handset. We could be looking at simply foldable handsets as we've seen here in new 5G speeds and technologies. All of this means dramatic diversity. The CTO has to work out how they're going to manage this, how they're going to monitor this. Will the performance do and live up to the expectation of the service being provided? As we look at network slicing, there are many, many new use cases, all of which need performance management and performance delivery. And this is an evolution in the uh, CTO's portfolio that they'll be wary of. You mentioned 5G and diversity. Um, operators obviously need to deliver operational efficiency, but also personalised on-demand services. Um, how can they simplify their operations and deliver better automation? Well, a service provider would look to put tools in to automate. You know, you can't do this through people. You need the tools, modern tools, that can look at the performance of your infrastructure, set alarms, deliver performance records, automate this side of your business. Traditionally, we've been looking at the pipes, the speeds, the performance of links. Now, of course, with 5G, we're much more focused on the performance of applications and individual services through our networks. And this, again, is, a, is an evolution for the operator community, but super important. Another trend we're seeing is the rise in service operation centres. What's driving that and how do you see it developing? Service operation centres are a natural evolution of the infrastructure we're delivering. If you consider 4G, we, we saw it particularly for enterprise solutions in, in 4G, and most of the operators were in their uh, infancy and delivering advanced service operation centres as opposed to network operation centres. If you look at 5G and the diversity of applications of 5G, they become fundamental. It's no surprise that there's been a lot of focus on service operation centres. The ability to live up to that service level agreement and the performance agreement that you're offering the customer base is fundamental and particularly as we look at things like network slicing, industry 4.0, gaming, all of these applications that absolutely need performance delivery down to the minutiae of things like latency particularly. It's vital we look at not just the pipe and feed but the application running through it. We can offer guarantees on the performance of the applications going through it to our third party partners or customers. So it's no surprise at all that you're seeing huge growth in the focus on service operation centres and it moves from an afterthought to a forethought. This is what you build before you launch. This is something you build to make the guarantees in the infrastructure. 5G is expected to deliver new low latency, high reliability services with mobile edge computing and slices. What do operators need from performance management solutions in these scenarios? The operators will need to be able to guarantee and prove the performance of the service delivery. A good example here in the show is uh, the robotics that we'll see here, an industry 4.0. When you look at the wireless manufacturing facility, the robotized manufacturing facilities, latency is vital. The operators are going to have to guarantee those latencies, prove the latencies, the, in this case, this example, the manufacturing base. Otherwise, they simply won't work. Those robots simply won't work in the wireless environment. So we have to prove that we're delivering what we promise 
And of course the customers are going to want to see that minute by minute. And so we have to extend our performance management so that the customer can have visibility and experience it as well and share in that. You've joined the Axedian Board of Directors. What attracted you to that role? As a technologist, you look to involve your time in the things that matter. Things that interest you, but things that matter going forward. Uh, for me, you know, digital transformation, cyber security, 5G and everything related to it. Exedian's vision appealed to me. I thought they really got it. I thought they'd looked at what matters to deliver that performance for the operator. They had a strategy that was delivering it, not just for the improved and enhanced network performance, but more importantly, looking forward to application management and application performance management. And I thought this was a company that really had a grasp of what was going to matter in the future, and I would be proud to associate my name with it. So everybody's talking about artificial intelligence for customer experience. How do we actually deliver that intelligence? One of the things that particularly attracted me in the Acedian strategy was the discussion I had on artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence on bad data is absolutely useless to everybody. Here's a company that produces the best data, the cleanest data to work with, and as an artificial intelligence platform, Data of IQ, that is really set for the future. I was particularly impressed on how they thought about this and how they thought about the evolution and where it was going to take them with respect to artificial intelligence.